Good morning, everyone, and Happy New Year as well. This is actually a really big year for me. In fact, it might be the biggest year of my entire life because I finally graduate from medical school this year. Alright guys, so I am in my car now. I had a pretty good morning in the clinic. I'm on an OB rotation, so a lot of our patients are coming in for their regular interval pregnancy visits. We have women coming in for postpartum visits, birth control counseling, all that kind of stuff. But I just had the morning today, which is great because I actually have a resident social and the first part of one of my interviews today. In fact, this is my final week of my residency interview season. I had a social on Monday, and then I have another social today and the first half of my interview, like I said. Tomorrow, I have the second half of this interview for this university. And then on Friday, I have my final residency social for another program. And then I'm done. I have no more interview scheduled. I have no more social scheduled that I know of. I will basically have no contact with any of these programs ever again until match week. I can't believe how fast the interview season has gone. I feel like I just posted the video of when I submitted my ERAS and now I'm going to be done with my last interview tomorrow. It's, it's nuts. Anyway, we can talk more about it later. I think for now, I'm going to probably try and get a gym session in and then I'll go home and get ready for my interview. And then right after the interview, I'll go to a social and yeah, it's gonna be kind of a long afternoon. Okay, so I just got done with the interview portion and I quickly changed out of my suit into this polo because I thought that the resident social was like right after. But it turns out it's not for like another hour and a half or so, which I guess makes sense because they need time to interview the other applicants. So I don't know why I thought it was like right after, but make sure you guys check times for everything because when you have interviews and socials, it's really easy to get the times like mixed up in your head. This isn't a bad thing though, because I'm pretty hungry, so I can go eat something really quick and maybe lay down a little bit. But in about an hour and a half, I'm going to join into the social. So I went to the social last night. Um, it was pretty cool. The residents were really nice. Uh, they told us a lot about the program and their perspective on things and what it's been like for them while they've been in their residency. Just typical questions about the program, like how they like it, what they would like to change about it, call schedules, you know, what it's like living in the area, stuff like that. Honestly, I was too tired after to vlog. I just wanted to relax, so I forgot to catch up with you guys afterwards. But now it's like six in the morning, sun's not even out yet, and I've got the rest of this program's interview starting in like half an hour. It's gonna start with us attending Grand Rounds. And then I think there's a program overview after that. And then we'll do the one-on-one -on -one interviews. I'm honestly so tired and I'm having a hard time waking up, but I'm gonna go get ready for this interview. All right guys, so I just finished my last ever residency interview. It's just past 11 a.m. and so that means I've been in this interview for almost five hours. There were like four or five one-on-one -on -one interviews and then there was a session with the chief residents that we were by ourselves with like two chief residents, which was really nice. So we could ask more questions about the program. Honestly, I'm pretty exhausted. It has been such a long morning and you have to think you're literally just sitting here at the computer looking at you know the zoom screen and trying to maintain this level of enthusiasm which of course you're excited but i think it's just so hard to keep that portrayed through 
five hours of interviewing. Man, I can't believe that was my last interview. I feel like just the other day I submitted ERAS and, you know, got my first interview invite and now I'm completely done for the season and it's up to the match gods now. Like I said though, I'm pretty exhausted. So I'm gonna go change and relax for a bit and then later on we'll talk more about this entire interview process. All right guys, so I just woke up from a uh, very long nap. It was definitely much needed. I was so exhausted. So let's do a little bit of a recap of how my residency interview season has gone. So I submitted my ERAS at the end of September, and I think I got my first interview a couple weeks later for some TY or prelim programs, and I think I got my first anesthesia interview shortly after that. Midway through October, I would say, is when I got the majority of my interviews. And by the end of my cycle, I had seven anesthesia interviews and five prelim slash TY interviews. As much as I wish that I had gotten more interviews this cycle, I could have gotten less. So I'm pretty grateful for what I got. I'm overall pretty happy with the programs that I interviewed at, and I'm pretty sure I have an idea of how I'm going to end up ranking them, but I'm still going to spend a little bit of time over the next six weeks or so evaluating my interviews and my impressions and making a good, strong final decision of my rank list. The interview trail has been interesting. In some ways, it's been similar to applying to medical school. In other ways, it's completely different in that you're kind of feeling like it's more of a job interview. Um, they're also trying to sell their program to you so that you know they can make sure that you're making a good fit on how you rank your residency programs. Some of my interviews were really short and I felt like I didn't get enough time to really uh, talk to the different faculty members and show them what I'm all about. But I would say for the majority of my interviews, I'm pretty happy with the way that I presented myself and I have confidence in both my application and the way that the interview day went. So we will see what happens in March. Overall, I'm very happy to be at this point. I mean, it's been such a long, long few years of studying and taking exams and I know that part's not over, obviously, like you're still gonna be studying in residency and we still have board exams to take, but it's different because you at least finally get to call yourself a doctor and you're in the specialty you wanna do and you know, starting to make a living for yourself. So I'm very much looking forward to that and just being in the next phase of the process. So I'll probably repeat this over the next few vlogs, but according to my calendar, we've got match week, which starts May 11th. So that morning, I'll find out if I matched or did not match. And then later that week on Friday is match day, where we all find out what program we matched into. Between now and then, it's basically just elective rotations and me focusing on myself and my health and enjoying doing the things that make me happy. And of course, I'm going to bring you guys along with me for the rest of this ride. For now, it's time to wrap up this video, but I appreciate you guys joining me on what was the end of my residency interview cycle. As always, I appreciate you guys joining me, and I'll see you in the next one.